welcome Foxglow! Die week wat voorle is soos een donderwolk wat opstaan. Donderblitse, reen, haal en aan die einde van die eerste spangeim volgende zaterdag, dan schijnt die reenboog weer prachtig en graaf en net en alles is terug naar normaal tussen die skole. Well, there's no occasion on our school calendar quite like into schools. It's an occasion which um, really gets the emotions of the town up like no other. Um, in fact, the town can become quite polarized. Um, one hears stories of people crossing the road to avoid each other, you know, they'll greet each other for the rest of the year. But uh, at inter-schools, uh, people are divided um, into two camps. You talk about inter-schools being something which we enjoy. I don't think I've ever enjoyed it as much <laughs> as maybe the average spectator, because there was only one thing that mattered, and that was to win. Tussen die lijnen blijft het maar raak weer, maar maar die het is te belangrijk. Die wen, ongelukkig is wen alles op die dag en en dat is wat die andere scholen maak um, en wat die ondersteuners terugbring en die uitschoolieren. So dat het blijft je lekker geleerdheid en dat is geniet het bij je, maar op die dag hier als ons dat praat is bij je met elkaar, yeah. dan dan voelen ze wat ons bedoelt, maar na die tijd dan zullen ze dan weer met elkaar praten over die wedstrijd. So in de schools voor ons was um, it was exciting because I was at Union High at the Engelse School and um, there were the Boere in Folk School but I was really a Boer myself and so were many of my friends. We were from um, a mixed culture so certainly in my case I, I there wasn't prejudice in terms of English versus Afrikaans. It was just between two schools. But for some people, the, the, there were definite um, lines, you know. There was Boere who the English and the Confederani, and there were and, and there were English guys who hated the Dutchmen. And Neil walked past me, or he came to me after the game, and he said, one of his boys said to him, Meneer, die Engelse is hard. So that's the biggest compliment an Afrikaans boy can, can actually give an English <laughs> speaking boy. So it is a very hard game. It's, it's no quarter asked or given. 
The captain of the rugby team is Ross Stanley. Um, he is the head boy of the school as well. Ross is a really strong character, but he, he's a fantastic leader of young men. Um, and I think he, he leads by example. And he's a really compassionate, decent guy. And I think we'll do really well on the field on Saturday. He'll, he'll handle the pressure. Captains, uh, very, very, uh, the, the rugby captain, Hintes, Puerta, um, a still seen, a still seen what, what a strong character is, a brilliant flank, a um, strong seen, and a, a seen from inbors, and integrity, what it, what it a good Christian is. And, and Judy van Heerden, what a wonderful uh, daughter to have as her span uh, hockey captain. Spontaan, friendly, bekwaam. She is also the hoofdochter in the Kosshuis. She is not the hoofdochter by the school, but she is the hoofdochter by the Kosshuis. Where she also with example and she has she a hockey span for her to tell and she is feeling on the moment to go to the high school. So we are expecting from Judy and her span. You know what, for us, I think in general, it's, it's a very proud moment, especially for us this year, having two kids in the first team. It's a, it's a very big privilege. This is today our last wedstrijd for Interschool. We play against Giel wat ook een taaidag is en ons het intense competitie van hulle. En julle boe boys, en ek weet ons kan ween en ons gaan ween. En ons speel net vir die jere, jouself boys. Ek het vertrouw dat julle enig iets kan afdoen boys. So ons gaan vandag, ons gaan geniet het. Maar ons speel hard, ons wees die hard wat ons het. En vandag is die man net weer nog een tree nader in volgende week sy interskole. So is belangrijk, het is vandag al Rarig focus op wat ons wil doen volgende week. Uh, maar ik denk dat uh, volgende zaterdag de game is groter is vandaag zijn mensen. Zullen we so, so sparen om een beetje voor de volgende week Handen! Ja, yeah, goed. Het komt nog aan. Handen! Voor die mannen zal nou die erdrukken. Kijk, meid! Wacht net, kom. Yeah. Um, right, so the, the, our beautiful church in the centre of the town. Now, bear in mind, remember I said earlier that um, the church came later, after the establishment of the town. But the church we have now in the centre of the town was, was um, built in 1886, and it's the third church on that um, site. Uh, probably one of the big features um, in the history of our Enghia uh, congregation is that in the 1920s there were a group of people from the church who um, they had they were, they were called the Baswardas. they um, they were unhappy and about many things one being that uh, Bayer's Nordir's father who was the Duermany here started preaching in Afrikaans which up to that point had been considered a kitchen language so interestingly enough um, the Baswadas, the crowd who left, were mainly supper, so politically they were enlightened, but they were unhappy about Afrikaans from the pulpit. There were um, a whole range of other reasons why they left, but in 1925 they then established their, their own church just down the road, and um, we, um, we've gone full circle. It seems that the two congregations will shortly be merging again. I can't, I'm not sure who it was, and I can find out, um, who reprimanded one of, the, one of the local farmers for attending church so infrequently. And then the farmer said to him, Domini, een van jou preek in a rood twak, hou my net mooi drie maanden. It's such a lekker story. <laughs>
Schwesterin A mit uns, mit uns gewinnt. 7, 7, 8 mit uns auch dann gewinnt. Die dritte Reihe war das letzte Jahr schon drei. Die uns verloren, mein Jahr. Und die dritte Reihe ist sicher ein von den Besten. Mein erstes Jahr mit Rugby, du hast mich vielleicht in die erste Spann. Und uns hat um, uns hat auch gewinnen die drei. Ähm, 14, 15. Und das war sicher ein von den besten Wissenschaftlern, die er gehabt hat. So, ja. Das war das erste Erwin in Trachenstraße, das war die erste, die die Bike gehabt hat. Du JC, und das ist auch bevor ich meine Bike da drauf. So, ja, das war ein Betekenis. Und das ist auch das Zahlen. Das war das Cricket. Und noch unter 11 Rugby, hier unter 14, da war der Kapitän noch so. Zeit wees, als hulle verloor, hulle, hulle is baie opgebouw om, te, om, die, om die ding te wen, is maar want hulle het opbouw. So. Maar als hulle verloor, ik meen het slank net een goeie game gespeel het, ja. um, dan gaan ons maar aan daarna. Wen of verloor, speel net jou geen jou beste, dit is maar van al en al waar we het gaan. Die kinders het hulle beste gee wat meer kan een mens vrouw, is altijd een mens soek. Dit. What are my thoughts? Yeah. Rugby, nothing in it. Yeah. Hockey Union, I should win. Whether they do it into schools, you never know. So I guess the best part about this guy here is that he represents what has come before us. Um, yeah, so basically just reminds us every time we're on to that field that we're not only playing for ourselves, but that we're playing for what's come before us and all the people that have left a legacy of their own. Yeah, well, I think, I mean, for Ross, particularly, the moving here has been a, a wonderful thing. He, he's excelled. In, in that he's been able to be independent. You know, in Joburg and the cities, you, you can't let your kids really be that independent. And he's really thrived on the, on the sporting front. Um, it's, he, he sees school, I think, as a bit of a... a necessary excuse, evil. <laughs> yeah, necessary evil to be able to play sport. Yeah, so um, And then, of course, the end of schools is every year. It just builds up and it's, it's, uh, it's the highlight of any year. Uh, woodwork, I enjoy woodworking. Um, just keeping busy with my friends, going out to places, finding stuff to get up to. Sometimes a bit mis mischievous, but ach, it's all good fun. That's pretty much what it does. <laughs> Uh, vandaag is we begin met die skaak en die skyfskiet. So wat is nou elke jaar doen van 1999 af het? Ons besluit om al ons africhters by mekaar te kry. Ten van die twee skole kom by mekaar en ons, ons braai saam, ons keir saam lekker vir vanavond. En ons praat bykie rakwee en dan praat ons Jesus Sarah na die wedstrijd met mekaar. Uh, ons werk op soveel terreine saam met mekaar dier die jaar. Ons is soveel goeie vriende eindelijk. So dit is net lekker om allemaal by mekaar te kry van die twee skole. En dan, soos ek sê, ons uh, keir ons dit lekker saam. Voor de groot wedstrijd we gaan zaterdag. Zijn eerste, zijn eerste Spanskaak-kaptein. Um, skaak, ik ga skaak, 
schaak is soos die lewe, maar dit gaan nie net op voorheid dank, en om, en om, en om besluit te maak oor jou lewe nie, maar het leer jou om kalm te, um, om, om kalm te raak terug te sit en mooi te besluit oor kieses in jou lewe. and attended Union I from 1965 to 1976. Also my four siblings and my father was a founder pupil of Union High School. He matriculated or finished at Union I in 1924, having been at the school from 1919 when it was founded. Um, my children and now my grandchildren are also at school at Union I. Um, so we've had an association with the school of about 98 or nine, so years. There would be the odd, ugly incident also. I can recall one involving in high school pupils who uh, till today have remained anonymous, but uh, some of us know who they might be, uh, that defaced this monument behind me. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a monument which would have had spe uh, special significance to the Afrikaner community in that it commemorates the Boer War. And uh, boys took to the monument with with black shoe polish. I think there was a swastika uh, on the flag and, and, and um, you know, they poured a tomato sauce over it to pick blood and so on. So it would have caused, uh, you know, a lot of ill feeling at the time and irresponsible really, but that's the sort of thing that used to happen. In 1947, the Royal Tour was scheduled to come through Croft And the night before the Royal Tour arrived, my late father, uh, late Malcolm Kroon and Don Abbott decided it would be a good idea to antagonize people and go and hang the Union Jack on the barrel of the rifle. So they slipped out the, of their hostel and attached the Union Jack to the barrel and slipped down thinking it was a big joke and slipped back to the hostel. The next morning the parade started and some irate Afrikaner jumped up grabbed the Union Jack and pulled it down and the entire barrel broke off. And it's been broken like that now for the past, what, 70 years already. You know that you like to get into school, is not it? And say for me, uh, who is the best school in the dorp? Mooi. Looking forward to the day out on the golf course with my mates. Um, I got my caddy here. He's also our water boy for the first team. Yeah, Mr. Ons in the Rarg, I think we have hard worked this week. And let's see what happens Saturday. captain of the girls' first hockey team is Kelsey Minow. During this last holiday, she captained the Eastern Province under 18 side, and I believe that they won the, the interprovincial tournament. She was also selected to represent the South African under 18B hockey side. And she's a, a calm, very experienced hockey player, has um, played in excess of 100 games for the first team. She's been in the first team since grade eight. <laughs> Kelsey was my daughter, always a laughing, friendly, public kind of 
Mooi dreig, gemal nie. I've started playing for the first team since I was in grade 8. So this is my first year. Um, my first year, it was, I needed to adapt because I was the youngest out of all the girls. And that match specifically, I think it was a learning curve because I had to take a penalty flick and I was the youngest. But I missed it, but I think with that, I grew as a player. Um, this year, I think I'm more mature in the way I play, so I think it's going to be a good, a good year for our team. You know, this is um, a breeding ground for famous people. But uh, certainly, uh, Bayers Nordier spent part of his youth in Grafrenet. His father was the Duermany in the Groot Kerk. And not forgetting Robert Sebukwe, the founder of the PAC, uh, the man who was behind the burning of the pass books, which led to Sharpville. And then uh, Dr. Rupert, who um, grew up here and uh, certainly uh, looked after Graf Renet and um, uh, helped restore Graf Renet so that it could become a tourism uh, destination. Well, the Volkskool was gestig in 1922 op aandrang en initiatief van dominee Joshua Nodier, wat toe die jong nieuwe predikant was uh, van die Groot Kerk op Graf Renet. Hy wou graag hee dat sy kinders in Afrikaans moest school gaan, wat toe nie moendlik was nie. Wel, ek denk die geheim van volkskool was die geweldige loyaliteit tussen die matriculante. Allemaal hou contact met mekaar. Een groot deel van die leerlinge wat uh, nog in die leven is, kom dan speciaal op graf net bij mekaar. En dit is een band wat jy gehad het, nie net met mekaar nie, maar ook met die school. Dit was een voorrecht om op die platteland te kon groot word. There was a lot of rivalry. And obviously with that, there's a lot of tension, especially the week before. There was another guy called uh, Mr. Lotta. He was absolutely bent. Uh, we never believed anything that he... <laughs> no, none of the scores counted. And I suppose from Union's side, Freddie Maria was also not the guy that they trusted. But Puggy Menek was the guy that both Folks World and Union and I trusted. So here's to Puggy. Cheers, Puggy. Now, in 1950, that's when I got there, the war, the Korean War broke out. Tremendous tension in the world. The price of wool rocketed again. Herbie Onnit was a very popular headmaster and had the support of the parents. And the farmers had so much money, they really didn't know what to do with them more, with all their money. And a lot of that money came to the school in donations. And that's where he started his expansions. He got permission from the council to close Plaskett Road, which the part of Plaskett Road opposite the school. And that's where he then expanded the, the field, the cricket field, uh, towards the Sunday's River. School is a wedstrijd, it al bepaal dier a skopper um, of jy is die dag aan of jy is die dag af. Dit is oor volkskool sy twee skoppers, hier is Callen August en Dimitri Rogers. En uh, ons vertrouw hulle gaan saadrag hulle skopskoene aan he. Ja, hy het sy bek sê gemaak. Um, oma sy is kouwer nie helemaal, weet hy is nog bykie bang vir om. Weet hy, misschien met sy nek een bykie gecompenseer en nou is die spier in die nek sê. Maar hy doen goed, hy sal kan speel, hy um, sy touwe ookie, so het sikker hy sal dit maak. <laughs> Ja, uh, voel goed, uh, ek denk ek sal ek kan doen en net wat ek moet doen en punte aan, ek kan vir die span en ja. Ja, nee, die selde, ek sal ja, die beste kan gee, satrag, my spante laat ween en terskole. The controversy that arose after that 
depended where you sat. If you sat in one position, it was over and four score won. If you sat in another position, the ball had missed and it was a draw. Well, six months later, when a couple of Union I boys walked down the street and they met a few false school chaps, the false chaps would say, on s'est gewen. And the Union I chaps would say, read the advertiser, it was a draw. And that was really one of the most controversial games that I ever saw. Hier spit ons nou in, en dan laat ons ons fout eraf. Kijk, <coughs> raak nie baie anders dan vandag, want hulle het reserves, hulle mag reserves opbring, ons kon nie reserves opbring, hier so is twee van jou in seerkrem, hier speel, so onder hulle, hier mag nie nieuwe manne op die veld gesit het, en in my jaar, ek was die kaptein van die swart baaikies van, En dit is een baie wat ons wil gehad het, omdat ons vir 2,5 jaar onwerwonne was. Want ons was bereid om alles te geef vir ons span. En ek denk net so was het met die interskole. Maar as ook kinders wat seer gekry het in die begin, uh, bykie onenigheid gehad, hy het het met die skoolhoof, maar ons het die wedstrijd gespeel aan die beste van ons vermoe. En dit is maar waar we dit gegaan het toe op die eind van die dag. Ek denk as ons die volgende dag Juni en hy weer gespeel het, het ons hulle 100-0 gewend. To ek al my hoed vir jy nie naaf, hy het ons daai dag gebeen, en dit was een beter span as ons, maar ek weet nie om te sê nie, ek is nog een graf vernet, en ek terf my nou nog nie zwaar baie, ek sal om veel wees. van die jare wat ek nog op laarskool of hoerskool was, tot vandag toe. Daar is, ek denk, beide of in die Afrikaans of Engels is in Swan, mense wat van Grafenet afkom, daar is een sekere karakter wat jy krij en dit bind jou eindelijk saam tot Grafenet. En ek moet sê, tot vandag, ek denk jy, dit is voordien het ons gesprek gehad daar oor en so, en Grafrenet het nou nie gegroei tot groot hoogtes nie, maar Grafrenet behoud sy kultuur, sy standvastigheid, sy humor, die mense, as al altyd een deel van my hart wees wat Grafrenet is, jy kan net nie wegkom af van nie. Nee, interessant van, 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 in my metriek jaar, toe kies ons een commandeerde span tussen voorschool en Union High. Dat is interessant. En ons het, ons het tegen een gecommandeerde studentenspan gespeel, die onderwijs college was aan die gang gewees, hoe hulle te onder 19 span, saam met Grootfontein gecommandeer, wat ons op die botanische gronde mee gespeel het. En ek sê nog altyd, ek is verskrikkelijk spuitler, dat hy gedachte nie bly voortleef het nie. Want dit is twee prachtige skole in die platteland, wat eindelijk enorme geleentere bied vir baie kinders. En die telling was 28-3, wat ons die studentenspan gewen het so. Goeiemorgen, seens en dochters. Goeiemorgen. Goeiemorgen, ouders, oudskoolere. Ek wil hier kyk mooi vir die gulse die voorstaan. Julle sal sien harde werk, effort, baie trane, bekleierreie, alles is dier die jaar gewerk. En hulle het mekaar as die span begin vorm. Hulle speel vir die school, hulle speel vir die ouwers en hulle geel alles. En soos wat ek hier staan, sê ek nou vir julle, 
Mora Venus Center School. Strangely enough, probably the best side um, that I've seen Force put on the field was in, in 1996 when they scored seven tries. It's not for you to start it in. I had to go back. Seven unanswered tries, no conversions, and they yeah. won that match 35 like nil, yeah. nil, I think. Yeah. Uh, I, fortunately, I wasn't the coach at the, <laughs> <laughs> I took over the following year. Uh, but yeah. that miss rate is one of the better sides, the biggest boys I've seen at schoolboy level. You know, compared yeah. to the, the super schools, they would probably have held their own against them as well. Yeah. So that was a very good side. But I think of players of the past, players when I was younger, uh, Fossil always seemed to have the big boys, big locks. In Chris at 75 had he begun it. And for 10 years, after each other, he had every year he had a slaver in the first span. I had the last three years played, so I had it in 1984. And in my specific three years, it was played, it was the first year I played, and in my last two years, it was won. Um, so yeah, and I think the other interesting part of our family is that from the 10 years, it was 9 years, it was year, was I every year a Kruimwijk player in the Slabber family, Lager School and Hoer School. It's, it's, it's much more user-friendly nowadays, the, the school, and uh, for the supporters and the old boys. And something like uh, our wives are organizing a farmer's market, you know, which, which is going to be fantastic, which say uh, all the local wares.
our inter schools like back then. Like, mm. It was also the highlight of my year. Like I said to the prep school, it was the highlight mm. of the year, the whole week. Excited, nerve, just thinking about it. And yeah, and then when that day comes, you, everything you forget about everything, you just jaw. Mm. And then it goes by so quickly. Actually, yes, you don't even so you have just, to yeah. just cherish every moment mm. and do it. So, uh, like just an advice I can give you, I think be prepared. Let your team know they mustn't think about the four 0 win because mm. this it's a totally different game tomorrow. So. Mm. They must be focused and not to be laid back and underestimate them because yeah. they are going to come out hard. Mm -hmm. So you guys must just take it back to them and just believe in yourself, believe in each other, have the confidence. And yeah, I'm sure we got fine. Because yeah. sports schools, I know from back in my days, I mean, they a tough school. They're hard, you know, hard mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I'm sure you guys will do well. Yeah. yeah. Ja, in principe ons is hetzelfde. Voor alleen die achterspelers is er al iets gezet. Dat alle grote bijdrage bij ons kleven van die 94 af. En dat dat een groot verschil op zaterdag geweest te gaan weer een verschil maken. Die van 94 dat 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 was raak veel beter voor alleen ons achterspelers. Dat een groot impact gemaakt. Als ik nu denk aan Martin Koopman en Jos van 2009 komt erin. Als het verloren is in 2007. 2007. Waar het bij ons? Ja, als we van die kwartelen van eigen dier in het strafschop worden, die van die tien treed af. Zo, nee, dat is goede spelers voor dier gekomen. En ik, ik blijf wel alle paard dat ik denk dat ik krijg een ontwikkeling op bij ons school, wat er misschien op een andere plek krijgen is. top of this file, we had written in red, never underestimate full school. Capital letters, never underestimate full school. And that is a fact. If you underestimate full school, when Neil brought the side here and you underestimated them, it was at, it's at your own peril. Because that's the way full school play, they play to win. Never, never, I've never seen a weak full school side in my life. Onze die wedstrijd 16 0 gewen die tweede aan de school. Die naai sterk span van jullie naai. En hulle het, hulle het die telling tot 50-0 tegen ons geraai op die loterij, voor die tijd. Wat ek kan sê word in die school is, dat ek van sap aan tot matriek nooit, ek kan nie onthou dat ons een, die span wat ek in gespeel het, dat, dat ek verloor het in, 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 in my loopbaan op volkschool het.
the other Abu Media. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thank you. 
al het in jou geknijd, al het in wat in jou gedoen, het draai oor gekocht en jy speel die kuil. Die oomlik waar hy ons in jou kop gaan gaan jou weet hulle gaan werk om in jou kop te kom, is het verby. Jy kan nie vandag hy ook toe laat om in jou kop te kom. Uh, hit, tails, pull, tails, uh, hits, play, up first, alright, now. Yeah. Officials ready. Proctor Nets help me. Five, four. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the toy there by number nine has come off. Retief. And the conversion there by Harper for Matsy, seven points for Union High up on the board at the moment. What a good thing, Swald. Penalty up there, as well. The big detail of the under. Sierra and he goes for Union High, where for school three.
Thank you.